Hello, this is Rain Wu, and welcome to another episode of Wine Down Wednesday. Hope you like my new background this week. Um, this week, I wanted to recommend a white wine from Portugal that I had with an investor after going to a foreclosure auction at the Fairfax City, uh, Fairfax County Courthouse. It's the Fonte Vino Verde uh, 2021. It's light and easy drinking with a fruity, crispy nose, uh, notes of apple, pear, and lemon that paired really well with this Cajun creamy pasta we had together afterwards. It was a bargain at just $29 for the bottle at the restaurant, which matches exactly with what he's always looking for in a real estate investment. Now, investors with all cash um, are very fortunate in today's market, but that's not the case for everyone else that needs to get a mortgage. In today's fast moving market, getting the best rate can be difficult as mortgage rates jumped a quarter of a percent just yesterday alone to an average of 6.25% for a conventional 30 year fixed rate. While there's no bringing back the record low mortgage rates and the market that we've enjoyed in the past, here's seven tips to get the best mortgage rates and make our home shopping experience as smooth as possible. So number one, double check your budget. At a minimum, you should double check your monthly housing budget. Higher mortgage rate doesn't mean that you have to pay more per month as sellers are cutting their prices. This means you could be borrowing less, especially if we're negotiating a lower price together, or you can just simply try to put more money down. Number two, check rates at least once a week. I recommend checking rates at least once a week with your lender. I use the Mortgage News Daily app, which has um, rates with rate trends. So as you can see here today, the rate is at 6.28%, which is close to a yearly high. Um, this is a great app that I use on a regular basis, and it can help you um, decide if you want to lock in your rate with your lender. Now, keep in mind that these rates are based on good credit scores, so make sure you're not making any big purchases before buying a home. And of course, make all of your payments on time. Number three, ask your realtor about a mortgage contingency. Once we start making offers on your home, we can put in a mortgage contingency in your purchase agreement, which will give you an out if mortgage rates move too high. That way you won't risk losing your earnest deposit money. Now we can still make a strong offer by putting more money down or by being more flexible on the closing dates as many sellers need to buy another place. So we might need to do a post settlement agreement to allow the owners to stay in the home after the closing. So number four, tighten your rate lock. After you fill out a loan application with your lender, and before it's submitted for underwriting, lenders can lock in your rates for 30 to 90 days. If you don't close within that time, there's an option to do an extension. However, you'll have to pay for the rate lock extension, which typically costs about 0.5% of the total loan amount with an extension for up to 120 days. And then number five, think beyond a conventional 30 year mortgage. Knowing that your mortgage rates will be locked for 30 years is reassuring. However, mortgage rates are sitting at a yearly high right now. You might want to consider an ARM, an adjustable rate mortgage, with fixed rates typically for 5, 7, or 10 years before they're adjustable. I have found that most first-time home buyers don't live in their place for more than 10 years, and rates might be lower after your fixed term. Of course, there's the option of refinancing, depending on your financial situation later. And then number six, pay for mortgage points. Another way to get a lower mortgage rate is to pay points, which is typically 1% of the total loan amount to lower your mortgage rate by a quarter of a percentage point. And we can work together in our offer to get a seller subsidy so you can use that money to buy down your mortgage rate or even help you with your closing costs. And then finally, number seven, time your mortgage decision based on your own needs. 
I'll conclude with this important tip as we need to understand why you're buying a home. Did you recently get married? Are you having a kid? Maybe you just adopted a pet and a dog just like we just did and just need more space. Um, as we're all spending more time working at home, eating and entertaining ourselves. Are you moving here for a new job or PCSing one of the many military bases in Northern Virginia? Finally, are you just tired of paying rent that's getting higher and higher each year? Regardless of the reason, you've saved up for a down payment and are ready to buy. I would love to work with you and understand your reason for buying. Give me a call and contact me at 703-216-2692 or write me an email at rainwoodrealestate at gmail.com and let's get started on your home search together. I can introduce you to lenders that can get you pre-approved and we can do some fun home shopping together. Hope these tips will help you get the best mortgage rates. If you have any questions, feel free to make comments below and have a great rest of the week.